Hello, my name is Jacob Garner. Today we're going to be talking about a movie called 1917. It is a very popular war movie. 92% of people really like this movie. I especially love this movie with all the action that happens, all the uh, music that goes along with it, and all the action, along with the sound effects and stuff like that. But uh, let's get right into it. 89 Rotten Tomato. I mean, a lot of people really love this. I mean, the movie is basically about two British soldiers named Lance, Colonel... Sheko Field and Luke Lance Colonel Blake. Uh, they basically have to. They basically receive a message that they have to go deep into enemy territory and uh, go deliver a message to 160,000 soldiers, along with one of them being uh, Blake's brother, to uh, stop an ambush that's going to happen. Um, this movie had a lot of action. It was very slow in the beginning and middle like it started getting a little bit too slow but at the end it really picked it up in time it really felt like there was a war going on um the sound effects were just amazing like if you didn't if you don't really care about the story like it wasn't gonna be with the like you wouldn't like really care about the movie but if you're with the story then you're really gonna love the movie um in my opinion i really loved watching this movie because it felt like it was real it felt like it was like i was stuck in the middle of a war like in the movie uh, they had to make decisions that they couldn't really understand that they just thought of like on the spot like uh, like you would do in World War Two type thing like if like we're starting a war right now for example and you were a soldier in there like you just think on the spot that's kind of how the movie felt in a way um, the movie had a lot of action packed parts to it like the camera angles were perfect for the the ways that they needed to be they'd always like black out when the time comes like if somebody got hurt or they would zoom in on the times that they needed it the most uh the initial release date was december 4th 2019 it's very very good movie uh the director sam mendez did a very good job on it um it's very uh worth watching because a lot of people don't if they follow it it's good like to follow the uh like war movies they're really gonna like it it's very outstanding um the visual effect on it really takes a toll on you when you like go ahead and like watch it. Some of the parts were uh, just amazing to watch if you're really into war movies. Some of them, some of the parts are just spectacular shots of like when the shoulder soldiers are shooting or like when they need to run or when they're being shot at. Um, it was, it felt like it was shot in one, like one shot when it really was shot in between like different films, like. Obviously, you could tell when they were cutting apart and stuff like that. But deep in, deep down in the end, it really felt like there was something to be there about. Um, it really felt like there was something to like visualize, even if you weren't like, if even if you had your eyes closed, like you felt like you were there. Um, then the movie was very special. They got to them just in time. Uh, Blake that had his brother there. Uh, basically didn't make it in time there were moments that there was very deep sorrow uh especially in 1917 there's a lot of sad scenes in it and uh there's an aching loss because he lost his brother but it at the end it felt like there was like a punch to it, like a, like you got hit in the gut because like they they didn't make it in time to save his brother but they made it in time to save some of the soldiers but i mean it is very uh very amazing to watch if you're really into war movies like i am you get to really feel like you get to really feel how it feel uh, like if you were out in the military and their the shots that they had made were perfectly on point i mean there's a couple shots that you could tell when they were cutting it obviously but it was perfect enough that i would rate a hundred a 10 out of 10 like a hundred percent not my it's not a perfect movie but it's really close in my books um it was just like a very it was slow to begin with but then it picked up in the in the end and it just made it worth the it just made it worth the watch because no matter like what you did even if you had your eyes closed you could visually and feel how like what the actors were going through or how the people were going through at the time like if they were being shot at you could feel the fear that you were being shot at, at. but overall i'd rate this movie a 10 out of 10 in my opinion um, I would recommend to watch this movie. This is a very enhanced uh, choreographic movie that they shot. It feels like they shot it all in one piece, but they didn't. But uh, I would very encouragely 
watch this movie with anybody that lo loves watching World War II movies or anything like that or World War I movies. This is a very nice movie to watch. I don't know about kid friendly because the language, but if there's like an adult or anything like that, I would recommend definitely seeing this movie because this movie relates to about a lot of what happened in 1917. Like in one of the films, there were both like there was a bunch of tanks. There was like a battlefield that you felt like it was there. Like uh, for example, like the Civil War, like the Battle of Gettysburg, like it felt like you were on that battlefield with them people fighting. And uh, when Lieutenant Blake. He said that it's it's all or nothing for him in the movie. That's kind of how it felt for the Civil War or how we won World War One and Two, because it was an all or nothing thing, or we would have basically lost, and then we wouldn't be how we are now. We wouldn't have the freedom that we have now. But I would definitely recommend this movie to anybody. I personally loved it myself, and I might watch it again tonight. But this is perfect in any way, no matter how you look at it. It looks like it looks like it got shot all in one, but it really wasn't. But I love this movie. Thank you for staying here. This is my self-review and thank you and have a good day.